Well, morning, everyone, from this lovely sunny morning at uh, La Chapelle in France. Um, what I thought I'd do is take some video. Here we go. Um, because anyone following the blog, oh, we're going around in circles here, um, can see all the pictures, but it's probably a little bit difficult to appreciate exactly what's happening. Um, all this uh, earthworks here is for a new parking space. But in the middle there, you can see a little mound, which um, I've dug out from my place and dumped over here, which is all with the approval of the mayor, so that's great. There's my little post box. And back to Chappelle. Now, um, what I'm working on at the moment is digging out the mound round here. You might get glared by the sunlight Ooh, in a minute, because it is a lovely sunny morning. No mist this morning. If I come in a bit further, yeah, you can see a mound here that we dug out, sorry, that we made, <laughs> when we knocked down the original chapel wall, which is here on the right-hand side, uh, which obviously is now being rebuilt. It's almost near the top, as you can see. <coughs> so all the old rubble came down, and we stuck it down by the uh, down by the existing structure here. So there you go. You can see all these rocks that are being dug out. It was originally uh, that mound was originally back to almost where the pallet is actually. So um, that's quite a lot of earth to move, and that's in two and a half days so far. So what I'll do. Take you into the chapel. I hope this thing's got enough memory for all this rubbish. <laughs> all this wittering on. Right, in through the front door. There's my new bed. Which uh, is an original and it's been reupholstered. It's got some lovely detail on. There you go. Ignoring the bike wheel in the background. but um, It's a sort of, it sort of looks bluey there but it's more of a greeny colour. Um, and the uprights are sort of a dark green. Right, now. Here we go, here's the chapel wall, the, front, the inside of the front chapel wall. Now you can see the um, reflection of the pool glistening on the, on the wall there, which is lovely in the mornings. And down the walls, now of course in those window areas, there will be stained glass windows, which are pretty much made already, so they're ready to go. Um, there's the water tank, there's my lovely fuse box. Don't look too closely at the wire, actually it's not too bad. Close look. <laughs> Very messy. But not, not, not as messy as it was. Um, my tent that I was sleeping in, which I still haven't taken down yet, um, I was sleeping in it because there were so many mosquitoes around. Then into the temporary living area, sofas, courtesy of George, for doing a day's work for him. Telly, you can see all the water pipes, the electric pipes. Blue is cold water, red is hot water, and the other pipes, the, the black and grey ones, are uh, electric. They run all the way along the beam there, back to this, the uh, fuse, fuse box. And then we have a kitchen area as well. Well, I say kitchen area. <laughs> Very temporary. Uh, we've got a fridge, cooker, hob, uh, dishwasher, doo -doo -doo -doo, not plugged in yet, and a washing machine. And then, got a little dining area as well, so that's quite cute. So it's all very open plan and it'll all be pretty much like this when it's finished, hopefully. Um, and then these lovely big doors, which lead out onto the, uh, well, the garden pool area. Just open these up for now, because I'm not doing any dusty work, so they can come open. But they just slide open. Effort effortlessly, as you can see. And then one more. And then that just lets the sunlight right into the, into the chapel. Perfect. So now we have a nice. Right, you can see, you can see the water just glistening off the walls here. That'll look lovely once all the plasterboard's up and it's a smooth wall. So there you go. That's your view from the kitchen. Uh, so there's the pool outside. Nice big doors open. The dining living area, and then through to the chapel itself, which is going to be the living area. Um, there you go. Right, now, so outside, oh, look at that for a view. That's not bad, is it? So outside, we have a towel drying on the chair, which is very exciting. You have the pool, obviously. Over there on the left is the pool house. Pool, which is still quite clean. I haven't actually attended to it for about a week. Um, it's gone slightly milky, but the temperature is so low that uh, it's a bit cool to dip in at the moment. Let's have a look around here. <coughs> Go around here and look at the uh, what is actually the back of the building. But 
it is almost the front because it's so uh, large and imposing and it has views there you go so you can see the stone wall is sort of gone up on the left hand side there where the scaffolding is it's going up in the middle but I'm, I'm sorting the stone at the moment for that as you saw earlier and then on the right hand side that needs doing um, in that gap there between the buildings uh, there should be a garage going up we didn't get round to doing that but hopefully in the next six months or so that that will pop up um, what I'll do now we'll run upstairs and so back through into the dining area and then I say upstairs it's more of up ladder so up ladder health and safety one handed while filming no helmet right so this is a bit of a tricky one a bit of an open space at the moment so not a lot to show except um, you have a gap here which is the landing area um, between the staircase which is probably going to be a spiral staircase coming up in the middle here uh, so there's a gap there between the, the edge of the, uh, the first floor and the wall here here there will be another gap I'm sort of roughly laid out with these rails at the moment so this rail that I'm standing on now will be the wall, the dividing wall between the landing and the bedrooms so you actually have quite a large landing there which is probably let me have a look two meters wide so that'd be nice to put a sofa on or something overlooking the living area in the chapel oh, i do love that reflection on the wall it's great isn't it right so as i said i've sort of roughly divided up the rooms already with these rails i haven't fixed them or anything yet it's just to get dimensions and see that it works um having said that ignore that far rail because uh, that's just floating at the moment <laughs> So what you see there, from that first door, along here, and then along here, and then a door through here, will be the main bedroom. So this is quite a large bedroom. It has a window, which has a view over the pool and the field. And then it also has a door, which again has the same view. And then the second bedroom is here, which has two Stand back a bit. Two doors. Um, and then you can walk through one of these doors onto the balcony. You can walk through all, both doors, all three doors if you want. Onto the balcony, um, which will obviously have some railings around. Has a lovely view of the pool. I'm sure somebody will be jumping off that. I'll show you the view, but it's a bit hard with the sun. It's actually quite warm this morning. Well, I say warm, it's a little bit chilly compared to normal. But um, it's t shirt off weather, which is good. Right, and now we have here the columns that I'm putting up um, between the patio doors. Uh, the patio doors, the bedroom doors upstairs. Uh, you can see I've done just about done the stone facing at the top here. That building in the distance there is the Salle de Fete, and, which is the, uh, the village hall and the, uh, the local primary school. Right, then we have... There you go, I've got a window ceiling up there. Dragging that up on my own was quite good fun. Ropes and all sorts. So yes, hopefully get these uh, these columns finished in the next three days or so, I think. So hopefully I'll end up digging out the stone today um, and crack on with these. As you can see, the stones have to have square corners here. Which is, uh, they're quite, quite hard to find, but I've just found loads since I've been digging out that area at the front. Um, so there you go. Oh, and over here, sorry, I forgot this bit. This will be an ensuite bathroom for the second bedroom. Toilet in the uh, in the corner there. There will be a bath, sorry, hand basins along this wall here, and a bath along the back wall there. And then where I've got all this storage stuff, there'll be another bathroom, or sorry, a shower room there, um, which will be a general shower room, which will also act for the as the the the, the bathroom for. Bedroom one, which is along the corridor. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it, I think, for the uh, for the grand tour for now. All nine minutes forty seconds of it. Um, I'll just go down the ladder. I do love that. That's such a good view. That wall would be lovely when it's done. Right, so back down the ladders. Still filming, of course. Still no safety helmet. And there you go. One last view. 
of the sun rising over La Chapelle. How cool is that? Right, I'll update you at some point in the future. Enjoy your day.